Hello everyone, welcome to the Military Plus. In this session we will discuss why Halo Jumper wears mask. Skydiving is an inherently dangerous sport, you should be killed. However, an extreme style of skydiving known as Halo was originally intended for military activities. This is a method of delivering military personnel, military equipment, and other military supplies from a transport aircraft at a high altitude via free fall parachute insertion. HALO is an acronym for, High Altitude, Low Opening. It means that military special forces teams will jump out at a high altitude, generally 30 to 40,000 feet, and they'll free fall to a much lower altitude, as low as about 800 feet above the ground, before they deploy their parachutes. HALO techniques were first developed for military use in the 1960s when the US Air Force began conducting trials that followed Colonel John Stapp's earlier work on safety for pilots ejecting at high altitudes in the 1940s and 1950s. Generally, all parachuting procedures are risky, but HALO poses unique dangers. Parachuters reach speeds of around 203 km per hour when they jump from that height, and they will free fall for approximately two minutes and should wear oxygen masks and carry an oxygen tank due to the high heights from which they jump. The partial pressure of oxygen in the Earth's atmosphere is low at high elevations, more than 22,000 feet. Human respiration requires oxygen, and a lack of pressure can cause hypoxia. When the jump plane rapidly ascends to its final height, decompression sickness, often known as the bends, can result from the rapid ascent in the jump plane without all nitrogen being purged from the bloodstream. Military personnel and extreme explorers must receive training before attempting a halo jump to address these and other concerns. Prior to jumping, a conventional halo exercise will need a pre-breathing interval, 30 to 45 minutes, during which the jumper will breathe 100% oxygen to flush nitrogen from their bloodstream. During the jump, a halo jumper will also use an oxygen bottle. Medical issues affecting the jumper can be deadly. The effect of hypoxia could force a jumper to lose consciousness and so be unable to deploy his parachute. Nitrogen bubbles in the veins cause joint inflammation, and a jumper suffering from decompression sickness may die or become permanently crippled. And then, low ambient temperatures, which are typical at higher altitudes, are also a concern. The jumper faces temperatures of minus 45 degrees Celsius, minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit, at an altitude of 35,000 feet, and frostbite is a possibility. Furthermore, troubles with the oxygen bottle and the transition from the pre-breather to the oxygen bottle might result in the return of nitrogen to the jumper's circulation, raising the risk of decompression sickness. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.